Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. Um, I am here doing your end of July channeled messages um, with the new moon in Cancer and our solar eclipse. I am going to release an extra channeled message this month due to um, my guides encouraging me to um, let you guys know what this energy is going to bring you. Um, this is a huge, huge um, shift in the world as in the universe, our conscious, um, consciousness is changing. Um, just everything is evolving into, um, a new place for everybody, a new you, a new, new situations, new beginnings. Um, I did pull one card for you guys from the hidden, um, realms by Colette Barrett reads read. And your card is the wise woman of Wonderland. So this is integrity and compromise. And what this card um, is wanting you to focus on is do not compromise to the point where it's no longer fitting for you. Um, stay true to your path. Stay true to what you want. Stay true to your values. Um, It's time to be honest. Uh, you've been compromising what you wanted in life for far too long to keep somebody in your space, to keep somebody in your life. Um, but it's time to be loyal to your path. She is also reminding you that compromise isn't always an option. Um, sometimes certain things in our life can't be compromised and it's time to be true to you first and foremost it's time um yeah it's time to stand up for yourself and even though you may lose somebody because of doing this um then they're not meant to be in your life because what's truly yours will never leave for good they will never um, lose or you will never lose what is truly intended for you. So that is what you are reminded in the next two weeks. Um, don't compromise to the point where your integrity is, um, is brought down. So um, Taurus, you guys uh, really have a lot on your mind family, friends, work, um, everything is kind of weighing you down right now. There's family issues that um, are needing dealt with. Um, some of you have been ignoring the burdens, ignoring the hurt, just to keep this person in your space. And with this new moon, um, those things, those people, they're going to fall away from your life. Uh, for some of you, I see somebody could be moving out of your home, whether that be you or your partner, um, or you guys are changing homes. There's, there's a shift in where you guys, uh, in your home life for a large group of you, I see this being, um, your partner leaving. Um, obviously if you don't know that you and your partner are having these kind of issues, this is not for you, but, um, if you guys have been kind of back and forth about what to do, what path to take, where to go. I do see them, um, leaving. I do see, um, sadness, heaviness, depression, uh, stemming from this rejection. Um, this could be a result of a third party. Um, but this is a blessing them leaving your life. If they are, um, if they are choosing to move out, that's what's meant to happen. This is only going to make room for your new beginnings to come into your life. Um, some of you are trying to figure out how to deal with a certain person in your life. Um, it looks like a family member could be a parent or a sibling, either you're dealing with your parents or you're dealing with a sibling. Um, you're trying to figure out how to deal with these people. 
Um, the, it's going to come to you. It's going to work its way out or it's going to work itself out. Just don't be too harsh. Don't, don't judge. Don't, um, be too quick to cut people off in that regard. Like if you're, it, bleh, I can't talk with your children or with your parents or someone in your family. Um, for a lot of you, you're going back to the drawing board. You're going to figure out where to go from here. Um, big changes in the next two weeks coming for you guys. Um, some you want, some you don't. Just don't fight it. Let go. Go with the flow. Um, just return back to the drawing board. Take the time to decide what it is you want and set your intentions. And, um, and do what you have to do to realign your life with your purpose. Um, some of you are in toxic relationships. Um, and you're desperately trying to talk them into staying. Spirit is uh, calling for you to let go. Let go of this person because they're only bringing you sadness. Um, they're no longer contributing emotionally to the relationship. They're holding back. There's secrets. Um, so with this new moon, allow people to exit your life that are trying to leave. Um, you're coming to a crossroads. And you're going to have to make some big decisions in the next couple weeks. That's going to affect your future as far as, um, yeah, as far as where you go from here. Um, some of you, you just need to push through, push through this pain, push through this hurt. Um, it will get better. Some of you are finding out you're part of a third party. This could have been a third party from the past, but you thought it had ended and it has not. Um, yeah. You're just really trying to grasp at anything right now that will, that will prove to you what's real and what's not because you trusted this person. You had faith in this person that they wouldn't do this to you. You gave them a second chance and now you're questioning what is even real in my life? Who's even telling me the truth? What is going on? What can I put my faith into? What can I put my trust? Because you feel very betrayed, very heavily burdened by this news. Um, just keep pushing through. Pray to your angels and ask for help. This is the perfect time to let go of old hurt. This is the perfect time to shed the old you to go through your transformations. A lot of you are going through heavy transformations. These are big life changing events that are happening and you're trying to fight them. It's all, it's going to only be harder if you fight, just allow them to happen. Allow people to exit your life that no longer need to be there as well as set your boundaries. Don't stand for people in your life who are not there 100% for you. Um, in the next two weeks, spirit is encouraging you to take charge of your emotions, get control again of how your life is going. You're out of balance for this group of you. And it's because your emotions are all over the place. Um, you fear not having somebody in your life, but yet you're not happy with them there anyways. So what really is going to, is going to, what really is going to happen by letting them go? Somebody is coming in for you, a true soulmate, somebody who is meant to be with you, life partners, they are coming for you, but you have to release what's in your space right now because there's no room for them. You have to, um, allow things to, yeah, you have to allow things to end. Um, some of you are dealing with a Virgo or an Aries, especially you have an unhealthy attachment to them. Um, yeah, it's calling for you to break free from that energy, to break free from that person. Um, because it's making you 
ignore signs from the universe that are trying to show you that this is not the road for you to take to go this way. You know, you're at that two of wands phase where you have two paths, but you're just completely putting blinders on to this other path that you're meant to be on and just focusing on this one person who who's caused her and pain in the past. Um, a lot of you are getting stuck in the memories, missing the past, missing what was, what could have been, what happened, why. Um, don't get lost there either um, because the past is the past. Everything happens for a reason. So take that lesson and then move forward, um, whether it be with that person or not. Uh, you just have to keep moving forward. You're getting stagnant, Taurus. You're getting stuck in this energy, and I can feel it. Um, and it's just this: these next two weeks, you have all the energy from the universe to help you push through this last couple um, legs of the race. So really use it to your advantage. Um, just hang in there. Hang in there. Let go of regret. Let go of what happened in the past. Let go of what you could have done, what you should have done, what you would have done, and start looking forward to what I'm going to do, what I, you know, what I am doing, what I do need, what I am doing to get what I need, um, because the world's passing you by, and, uh, and you're not seeing it because you're focused on what happened yesterday. So um, really in the next two weeks. Just let go of the regret, stand your ground, and speak your truth. Tell people how you honestly feel. Tell people who actually hurt or honestly hurt you how you feel. Um, getting this off your chest is going to help you a lot in moving forward. Um, for a lot of you, I do see you walking away. I do see you being successful and using this energy and moving forward trudging through that pain and hurt and starting a brand new day with a brighter future. Um, for some of you, love is coming in very fast after this happens. Uh, very, very fast. You're going to be celebrating in no time. You're going to be um, realizing that you've been holding on to the wrong person for far too long and you could have had this happiness all along. Um, but you're waiting for someone else to make the move. You need to have the courage and the faith to make that move on your own. Um, because the person you're dealing with is stuck as well. Um, you could also be dealing with somebody in your space who is overindulging in things that is not healthy for them. Um, they are self-medicating. They are, Yeah, they're just bringing negativity to the relationship, to the situation. It's time to cut those people from your life as well. Um, there's, there's somebody that is coming in for you. This person is very, um, very honest, very, uh, up front. It's kind of a new change of um, scenery for you. You guys are used to having to dig up uh, evidence to make sure your partner is telling the truth. To um, You're used to being deceived. And that's not an energy that you should ever get used to being. But this person is going to bring a whole new breath of freshness to your life, to your surroundings, to your environment. So really just Allow these people in. They're here for the right reasons. Um, they're here. My goodness, that sun is getting really bright. It was raining here, so sorry about that. There. Okay. But um, don't put your uh, wall up so high that, that you keep everybody out. Because true happiness is coming for you. Um, you just have to be patient. You have to go within and... You have to go within and um, really regroup. Um,
think what's really important to you. Think what you do you really want. Is this really the path that I'm choosing? Because I'm not happy here. I'm in constant doubt. I'm in constant question. I'm in constant jealousy mode because this person really hurt you. This person really deceived you. They did the one thing that you never thought they would do. You thought they would always be there for you and they betrayed you. So in the stillness, as you sit and think what you really want, it's going to come to you what you really need to do. Um, you just have to be still long enough. You have to still your mind long enough to really think, not what do you think you need, but what do you really want? Because when you decide what you really want, then you know what direction to move forward in. Um, spirit is all around you. Spirit is protecting you right now, but you have to pay attention. They're sending you signs, synchronicities. Um, but most importantly, send your prayers up to the universe. Let them know what you need guidance on. Let them know what you need help with. Let them know you need healing and they will help you. Um, it's time to, to bring your blessings in that you deserve. Um, instead of blocking out what you, um, blocking out all your blessings because you thought what you needed was around you already. And, um, and it's calling for you to move forward so you can have romance, so you can have partnerships, so you can have that sacred union. Because if this is your situation, this is a karmic partner. You're there for a lesson. Take your lesson and move forward. But leave the hurt and the pain behind. Because now is the time to call in your real soulmate. Now is the time to call in your twin flame. Now is the time to call in your life partner. Prepare yourself, heal, cleanse, do a cleansing ritual, release your ex, release that current person that does not serve your greatest good. Use this next two weeks of cancer's healing energies to set the space for your sacred ritual, to set your intentions, to send your prayers up to the universe and to allow them in to help you. Um, it's calling for you to to use your wisdom that you have accrued this far and to allow the power of the divine to help you because you guys are in a very tough, hurting time right now. Let the divine help you. Let the divine heal you. The power of the divine is amazing if you allow it into your life instead of fighting the natural flow of things. Um, also, make sure if you are separating from somebody, that you're not being greedy, that you're not withholding, um, that you're not hiding money is what I'm hearing um, because it's going to come back to bite you. Um, you reap what you sow. Your karma, you get what you give, give out. So don't, um, in the fight of things with this person, don't um, put bad karma out there because you don't need that coming back at you. So just remain positive, have positive expectations, be clear on what it is that you want to the universe. But first, in order to be clear to the universe, you have to be clear with yourself. So that's why it's, spirit is asking you to go within, to be still and to figure out what you want. Once you know what you want and you're clear with that, then send it up to the universe and allow yourself in those blessings. You're going to find clarity in the next two weeks, Taurus. You're going to find strength. You're going to find the truth. You're going to find um, a reason to celebrate because you're going to be enlightened to a situation. Uh, it's going to be illuminated. Whatever was done in the dark to you is going to be um, brought to light. And it may not be the easiest energy to deal with, but now is the time to deal with it. With this energy and cancer, like I said, it is has such a healing quality to it. As well as, you know, we're in three eclipses here instead of two. So use this energy to your advantage. Um, let go of that unhealthy attachment to people. Some of you are obsessed with this connection and it's, that's not what's meant for you. Let it go. Go with the flow of things. And then someone new is going to come in because right now you're self-sabotaging 
you're poverty con conscious, you're worried about not having enough money, you're worried about not having enough anything to make it on your own. And that's the only thing that's holding you in this spot. And that's not the case. When you let go and let things come in for you that are meant to be, your blessings are abundant tenfold. So this is the cycle of growth. It's the natural law of, of life, the, the ebb and flow of um, energy, all in divine order. Right now, you guys are going through the death process. You guys are in the fall of um, your cycle. Everything is dying. Everything is falling away. You are transforming. In the winter, you go through that time of weight, healing. You rejuvenate yourself. You figure out what it is you want. You gain clarity. You set your intentions. And come spring, new love will blossom. So you guys right now are in that fall stage. So it's now time to let everything go. Everything go. And what is meant for you will never go too far. So don't be worried that if you let something or someone go, that it's never coming back. If it's meant for you, it will return. It is promised by the universe. Um, and it's just time to look within yourself, to reflect on your life, what you're doing, what you can contribute to the universe, what you can do to make your life better. Because ultimately, you are in charge of your own happiness. No one else can make you happy. If you're not happy um, before you enter a relationship, that relationship is doomed to fail. Because someone else can never make you happy 100% of the time. Um, so now it's time to make yourself happy. To do what you have to do to get to that happiness. But most of all, don't be so hard on yourself. Don't judge yourself. Don't come in this with non-judgment. Come in this with eternal love for yourself. Unconditional love for yourself. Forgive yourself for the, the past. Take those lessons and move forward because you have a beautiful, beautiful new relationship coming in for you and you can't see it because you're too focused on your hurt. Um, for those of you in a soulmate connection, they will be proposing soon for this group of you. You just recently came back or heard back from them in the last two weeks. Um, in the next two weeks, enjoy this energy. Enjoy the emotions that are going to be shared back and forth. Um, and by October, November, you guys are going to be engaged. Um, for those of you waiting for twin flames to come back, uh, they are working on it. There are some blocks that they are dealing with as well as yourself. Um, you could be blocking out some childhood hurts that you're dealing with or past relationship hurts. Um, I encourage you to do a cleanse in the next two days when the new moon energy is at its most powerful. Um, for those of you who've been separation anywhere from, I want to say nine months to 18 months, that person is coming back. Uh, they are leaving karmic partners um, and they're trying to get their finances in order in order to come back and be able to provide. They're going to make it an offer to you. Um, this is very exciting to you, especially if they are a water sign or uh, an air sign. For those of you who are single and looking for love, um, I see a lot of you making online connections, um, meeting people on social media platforms, websites. Um, use this with caution, but um, go with the flow. New love is going to find you in that way. Um, for those of you who just recently broke up with somebody, um, for a group, this group of you, you're dealing with a twin flame. They will return. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Use the energy this next two weeks to get through the hardest hump of the journey um, because they're going to return. They need space. They need to work on themselves, um, and they will as you do. You guys are direct mirrors of each other. So if you're not working on them yourself, they're not working on themselves either. So dig deep. Start the healing. And the quicker you do that, the more energy you focus on healing yourself they will do the same and that will bring union back much, much quicker. Um, for some of you, you are meeting somebody new. This person's going to sweep you off your feet. Could be somebody just a little bit younger than you. Um, let them spoil you. Let them pamper you. This is a time of um, great love with cancer um, here. So yeah, for the, a lot of you, you need to heal. For another group of you, enjoy the new energy coming in. But most importantly, um, don't 
don't beat yourself up these next couple weeks. These emotions are going to be very high and low um, for a group of you. For uh, some of you, yeah, if, if you're um, separated from a twin flame also, they're coming back if you have been separated more than three years. And they are Leo, a Leo, a Scorpio, Capricorn, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, if you've been split for more than three years, they are coming back. They are moving, literally physically moving. Um, so just with this new uh, moon, make sure you do a cleansing ritual, cut all karmic ties and bonds, um, release anyone from your past, this life and la um, past lives. And uh, once you release all that, set your intentions, set your goals, give gratitude to the universe and allow your blessings to come in. Taurus, I hope you have a beautiful two weeks and I will see you next time. As always, may your journey be blessed with lots of love, light, and healing.